Hi, I'm saxophonist Dave Koz, and you're watching Elements of Jazz TV. Elements of Jazz, your visual jazz experience. Well, we are here backstage at the Nokia Theater, LA Live, right across from Staples Center. It's one of the hot venues of Los Angeles, or the, the world, I think. Uh, it's a beautiful auditorium, and we have a cavalcade of stars appearing tonight. Uh, primarily, this is an uh, anniversary party for a radio station called 94.7 The Wave. And anybody who watches your show, who also lives in Southern California, knows The Wave. It's been on the air for 25 years. Just uh, actually, they went on the air Valentine's Day uh, 25 years ago. So, a lot to celebrate. Still on the air, still doing great. Happy 25th anniversary to one of my favorite radio stations and favorite groups of people in the entire world 94.7 The Wind. Make some noise! We are thrilled to be here celebrating with all of you, celebrating a great radio station. And uh, we thought we would we would put together something very special to celebrate the instrumental roots of this radio station. All that great instrumental music. The Wave started out by playing instrumental music. You guys remember that? It gave people like me, saxophonists, trumpeters, keyboardists, guitarists, a chance to have hit songs as well. And for that, I'm eternally grateful to 94.7 The Wave. I'll get you a right about this. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick playing saxophone at 13 so when I heard uh, Tower of Power that horn section that was pretty much it for me I grew up listening to horn bands Tower of Power Earth Wind and Fire um, Chicago you know those were the guys that I listened to and, and loved my first concert that I ever went to was Earth Wind and Fire at the, the uh, Forum in Los Angeles but I still enjoy the theatrics of it all and the entertainment factor of it all and actually, the last time I was in uh, uh, South Africa, I got to share the stage uh, with, with Earth, Wind & Fire. It was a double header. It was me and my band, followed by Earth, Wind & Fire. And that was, I just can't tell you how great that was to just be, you know, the backstage hanging out with all those guys and being able to talk about music and, and say thank you to them. I mean, I've seen them every once in a while, but just being able to say thank you again for all the inspiration that they continue to to give me. Saxophone players, I listened to David Sanborn was a huge influence on me, Grover Washington. Um, I, I mean, I don't know where to start. Stan Getz, uh, Phil Woods, Charlie Parker, um, Cannonball Adderley, Tom Scott, uh, who I absolutely love and adore. Um, and I, I still listen to those guys. I listen to a lot of other kinds of music. I, I love, um, not to jump on the Adele bandwagon, but I just love the fact that she's such a great singer. I love Corinne Bailey Ray, um, Janelle Monae. I think that she's hot. I, I think that kid Bruno Mars was incredible, total throwback to a, a, an entertainer. You know, and a great singer, great songwriter, but entertainer. Uh, Michael Bublé, I love. Um, those the people that are the younger artists that are really saying, I'm about... Uh, singing and communicating and entertaining. Those, those three things, the trifecta. You see an artist that comes on the scene that's got that in the front of their mind. 
and you see them have the success that they have, that to me is is who I want to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, surprise guest tonight, Mr. Bodie James! <laughs> big champion of the music. I'm a cheerleader. That's what this radio show is. And I remember the first time when somebody came to me, a colleague said, uh, I think that you should host your own radio show. And I looked at them quizzically and I was like, what? I'm not a disc jockey. I don't know how to do that. And they said, that's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for someone who is passionate about the music, understands it, knows the artist, to give our listeners kind of a behind the scenes look at what what goes on in the mind of, uh, of an artist. And I said, well, I think I could do that, maybe. And I was so bad that first couple of years, you know, I was really embarrassingly bad, but they stuck with me and I had some great teachers along the way. And now we are going into our 18th season of the Dave Cos Radio Show. It's been on the air for 18 years uh, in syndicated uh, radio. So I'm very honored. And I've interviewed pretty much, I mean, all of my heroes, all of my friends people that I love and, and appreciate, and, and that's my job, is to be a cheerleader, a, a supporter for the, this kind of music that doesn't necessarily get written about in newspapers and people magazines and stuff. So there's, there's few shows like yours that really celebrate jazz, and that's what our radio show does, is celebrate jazz, the music, and the artists who are making it. <laughs> Tomorrow is the is the last album that I made um, that came out about a year ago, a little over a year ago, and that was a dream come true project. It was my first for Concord Records after 20 years on Capitol Records, 
And um, I got a chance to work with some of my great friends and idols. Boney James, was we did a duet together. Herb Alpert came and appeared on a, uh, a reworking of the song that he made so famous, This Guy's In Love With You. Sheila E., Jonathan Butler, Keb Moe, the great blues guitar player, Christian Scott, incredible trumpet player. The album was produced by Marcus Miller, who is one of my all-time heroes. and played, He played bass on all the tracks. It was, it was a hot band, by the way. And uh, the other producers named uh, John Burke, who's also a Grammy winner. So it was, for me, it was a dream come true project. And now, uh, starting to think about the next project and haven't quite, I've got a few things on the burners right now. I haven't quite decided on it yet. Um, right now I'm getting ready to do some traveling, some international traveling, going to Jakarta and then to Indonesia and then to uh, South Africa. And when I come back from those trips, we'll be rolling up the sleeves and getting in the studio again. <laughs> on Amazon.com or iTunes. Uh, my website is DaveKoz.com. Took me a while to come up with that one. DaveKoz.com. And uh, Facebook, the official Dave Koz music page. And also, I'm a big tweeter now. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. If you're interested in uh, following me on Twitter, I urge you to connect uh, at JustKoz. J-U-S-T-K-O-Z. Well, I just want to say thank you to you guys for watching this wonderful show. Uh, and keeping the music alive. I do appreciate it. You know, I've been doing this for about 20 plus years now and there's not a day that goes by that I don't pinch myself and say, you are a lucky son of a gun, man. Making music, traveling around the world, um, doing concerts, making records, but I could not do it if it weren't for people like yourself being a supporter of uh, not just my music, but jazz in general. So thanks for keeping it alive. And if you will have me, I will love to do it for many years to come. So keep listening.